Um, connected to environmental news, um, I'm going to play you a little clip here. Stand by for pie detail. Um, what we're about to show you is the Ryanair CEO, Michael O'Leary. You're familiar with Michael O'Leary, quite a controversial character in some respects. He's been hit with a pie by an environmental activist during a press conference in Brussels. It happens quite early on in the clip. So this is Michael O'Leary, uh, CEO of Ryanair, being hit with a pie from the environmentalists. Have a look. Welcome in Belgium! <laughs> So there it is. He uh, was taking something out of a box when he was approached by two people very quickly who custard pied him straight in the fizzog uh, over his neck, over his face. He quickly takes a handkerchief from his pocket. And then he, uh, he, well, he, he wipes off the. Here's our petition. No, 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 no. We're here to discuss the petition. I love cream cakes. They're my favourite. OK, so we're here this morning to submit uh, our latest passenger petition to our close friend, Miss Ursula von der Leyen. Welcome Be in Belgium! <laughs> there it is. Welcome in Belgium. Yeah, can I just say, sorry to be pedantic, but that's not very good English. It's too Belgium. Sorry. Um, welcome in Belgium uh, as O'Leary gets two smackers, uh, courtesy of the Custard Pie Alliance, Please don't quote me on that. That's not the real name of them. Uh, but they decided in the name of the environment... Look, he's a man that runs a fleet of aircrafts, right? He's obviously looking for some kind of rule and regulation that the EU are not providing. There's a cardboard cutout of Ursula von der Leyen. He's outside what I assume is par the, the Parliament in Brussels. That's the Parliament building. And he's... Uh, yeah, he's th they're making his attempt to get the European Commission to understand his point. He's protesting outside the Commission against repeated air traffic controllers' strikes in the EU affecting his low-cost Irish airline, uh, which is Europe's biggest, by, by the way, by passenger numbers, and a couple of chances with two custard pies and too much time on their hands decided, oh, my God, it's O'Leary, the man with the aeroplanes. This is delicious, and gave him a smacker. I... I don't, do you know what? I don't like that stuff very much. I, look, I, I'm sure O'Leary's shoulders are broad, um, and he got over it very quickly and said he likes custard pies. Um, I think it's intimidating. I think it's a bit dangerous. I think it sets a horrible precedent. And more than anything, and one of them appears to really whack him. I mean, that goes. It could hurt you as well, even though it's a custard pie. But if, if it's thrown with some level of force, I, d I don't think it's unreasonable to say that might be a bit painful. But I don't think that's the issue. I remember talking to Nigel Farage when he had the milkshake moment. Uh, do you remember when somebody threw a milkshake over him when he was out campaigning? And also talking to lots of MPs over the years who were in Parliament when, I think it was Fathers for Justice, threw some purple powder over from the public gallery down into the chamber. And both Farage and MPs that were around that day all said the same thing. There is a a point where you don't know that that's a milkshake or harmless power. You just don't know. There is a point when you go, is this it? Is this the moment? Is this the battery acid that's being lobbed at me? Um, is this the point where I'm, I'm done? Is this the point when the next person behind the custard pie thrower actually has a gun in their hand? So attacking public figures may have a pantomime-ness about it. And I, I get that, all right, and you're allowed to protest. I just sense this kind of, this type of protest carries with it other slightly unsavoury potential dangers and unpleasantness. Uh, and many will go, well, so what is a little bit of panic in exchange for a clean environment? Well, I don't think that quite washes, frankly. What are you going to do next? Turn up at nurseries and scare kids with Halloween masks as they come out because their parents work at the Texaco petrol station. Where do you take that? 